This is Coombe Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbell at the Frank Warren headquarters. With me, I've got Mitchell Smith. Um, how are you this morning, Mitchell? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Just sat down and had a little chat with Frank and uh, worked out what we're going to do next year. And um, yeah, I'm happy with the outcome. Um, Frank's a very loyal person and uh, same as myself. And um, yeah, you know... Uh, Talks of a rematch of Jules Jap. Fortunately, as everyone knows, um, didn't go to plan the other night. Um, and uh, I live to fight another day. It was a, a very disappointing night for you, uh, Saturday, obviously suffering your first uh, defeat as a professional. Um, was it made worse by uh, the week's build up and? Certain things you did say, which you know, looking back on it, maybe you regretted. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I look at not just a little bit silly, but I do look, I look extremely silly now. Um, it's hard. It's hard to try and explain that. You know, sometimes those that work on the shovel turn up to work and don't want to dig a hole. And it seemed that I turned up on Saturday night and didn't want to fight. Um, I broke my hand early in the in in um, I think it was either late late first round or early second round. Um, I don't know if the camera can see, but. Um, I was loading up well too much. Take nothing away from that. I got beat by a better person. George George's game plan was spot on. Um, I've looked back on 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 the fight, and I, I could have called it a draw one way, you know, around my way, around his way. Um, I got beat by the better person on the night, and and it sounds I know it just sounds very strange, but I am I'm happy for George that he's come out a winner. I'm I'm uh, I'm going for a stage now where I'm I'm gonna have to learn that you know I need I need to start living properly. Um. Yeah, I went on too many holidays. I went up too much in weight. Um, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very upsetting moment. It's a very upsetting time for me at the moment. Um, but, but we spoke with Frank, and and and, and things sh should get back on track as long as you know, get the hands sorted, and. Um, me and George will have the rematch, and then and then we'll go from there. Was George underestimated by yourself, and did you expect to have a fight where you perhaps blew him out early? A hundred, a hundred percent. I was a. Uh, I went into a fight expecting. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting him to be brave enough to get on his jab. I was expecting him to just curdle up, and for me to just let go of shots. And I was expecting one of those one of those things where as soon as I hit him, he just curled up, and that was it. And I underestimated him an awful lot. Like I said, you know, he showed a true pair of balls in there to get on his jab and 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 even take a couple of shots to just just to get his jab back off. He didn't make much of a fight, but he got on his jab and he, his game plan worked to perfection and. As I said, I got bet, I got beat by a, by the better man on the night. It's, congratulations, George. Enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your belt. Once the hands better, we can get it. We can. We can, fingers crossed. We can get it on again. At what stage of the fight did you realise that the fight wasn't going how you wanted it to go, or that you were in a you know a proper fight then? Yeah, two rounds. Two rounds. I knew by the second round as soon as. The as soon as my hand, as soon as my hand started started playing up, I just thought, right, that one's gone. Um, 
messed around at the weight a little bit. Legs were a little bit dead, so the jab wasn't working. Um, I did hurt him three or four times in the fight still. I hurt him with a right hand to the head. And I hurt him with a body shot as well. A couple of body shots that he made, a couple of winces. Um, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that I can't that I can't beat George Trapp. So I'm not going to sit here and 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 com completely eat humble pie, um, because that would just mean giving up on myself. There's not, there's not, a, there's not one one thing in my mind that thinks that George Trapp is a better fighter than me. I've got the game plan wrong. I loaded up too much. I had a slight problem, up you know, coming up to the fight with the weight, um, and. I'm gonna get slated and I'm gonna get criticised on on Twitter and 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 Facebook, but I'll, I'll come again. I'll come again. I, I'm 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 I was born I was born to become a champion, and it's better that this has happened now than than later on in my career because it's horrible. It's really really horrible. I'm very very down at the moment. I'm very depressed. I'm seeing someone um about depression at the moment. Um, it's a very sad time in my life at the moment, um, and uh, things will get back on track. Things will get back on track, and uh, I will come again. I will come again. Although questionably entertaining, the press conference uh, on the Thursday before the fight. Um, looking back on that now, obviously. Some people suggested you were very disrespectful towards George and his trainer. Um, and like I said, it's, it makes for uh, entertaining viewing, some might say. But looking back on that now, uh, do you believe you was? I, I, I believe I was disrespectful. But at the same time, nine times out of ten, I back up, not, I back up what I said. And, and it was unfortunate that... You know, I've had a custard pie thrown in my face because I've said a couple of things that I couldn't I couldn't do on the night and um made myself look a bit of a prat, didn't I? Um a decent Mitchell Smith would have backed that press conference up. But I just I just couldn't I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, Cooks and um I apologise to Derek Granger, and I apologise for George Trapp, and I apologise if 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 I've offended anybody else. Um, this is an entertaining sport. Um, people loved it before I got beat. I got beat, and I've been slated for it, which is you know, which was being expected. You know, it was expected to to be coming. Um, it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. But ultimately, boxing is an entertainment selling sport as well. And some of these press conferences, especially a fight like yours, you know, who's maybe fourth or fifth down the line, that um, you brought attention to your fight via that press conference. So it's a catch-22 because, you know, you're, you want to sell your fight, you want to perform in the ring, but if it doesn't go to plan, you're going to have to except the backlash. Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, if I'd have performed on Saturday night, no one could have said nothing. All that someone could have said was, oh, he's just still a knob, that's all, da 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 da, da. But, you know, y y you have to be able to talk the talk and walk the walk. Unfortunately, I'd done the loads of talking and didn't do any of the walking. Um And I can only blame it on the preparation to the fight. You know, um, I just on Saturday I got beat by the better person, like I said, Coogs. And I just, there's not much more I can say about the interview, um, about the fight. I got beat by the better person. I'll sort my injury out. And uh, I've been told that we we will we will be getting it on again. And uh, I will be getting my daughter's daughter's belt back. I sat there and watched the fight back the other day and. Uh, she, uh, she, 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 she was heartbreaking because she, she 
see that George Jupp put the belt on, and that's her belt. She said, Daddy, Daddy, he's got my belt. And it was just like, you know, you know when it really hits home, you know? I won't I won't be put in this position again. I won't I won't there's times where I've been lazy in this camp. There's times where I've overlooked George Jupp. There's times where I haven't been able to get up for this fight. And then um, it shows that shows that I can get beat. You know, against against people like that when when I'm not up for the fight, and I won't be put in that position ever ever again. I'll be training my nuts off all the time now, all the time. When you know, when Jason says go running, I'll be going running. There's times when Jason says go running, and I don't go running. And um, but let's forget about that. Let's forget about excuses. Well done, George Jupp. Merry Christmas, mate. Dirk Grange, you've done a great job. Enjoy your Christmas cooks. Just, just one more thing, Mitchell. Before, before we finish, obviously, before this fight, um, you had been vocal about a lot of other fighters. Um, again, I know in what context you're doing it. Um, Josh Warrington, uh, Ryan Walsh, etc. Um, in the back of your mind, there's Saturday's defeat put into perspective, maybe about where you are in your career compared no. to some of those other fighters or not? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Um not at all. Um I know where I know where I stand. I know I know how good I am. Um and like I said, Saturday was a performance that wasn't me. Um and I and I can and I, you know I can only eat humble pie at the moment. That's that's all I can do. Um I will get my win back. I will get the victory that that I need um, in my next fight against George Jupp, and then uh, and then, and, then, and then we'll do some more talking, and then we'll do some more talking. And I don't mean bad mouthing, but I still don't believe. I still believe that I can. I, I still believe I'm, the, I'm. I am one of the best British British fighters in 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 the country, definitely, hundred percent. But just at the moment. You get bad days. You get bad days at the office, and that was one of those. And I, I, I'm sorry if I've let anyone down. Um, and to those that hate, keep hating. I will change it around. And next year, I still believe I will be British champion. And I will, I will, I will overcome what I'm going through at the moment. And I will get that belt back off of George Jupp in the rematch. I promise you. All right, well, listen, Mitchell Smith, uh, have a good Christmas and New Year and uh, get back to it. I'm sure you know what you're doing and uh, come next year, um, get yourself back on track. I just want to say thank you to everyone that follows me on Twitter. Um, the fans, you've been absolutely great. Um, uh, you're right, I will come again. I'm mentally strong. And I'm hungry and I will be the best. So thank you very much. Have a very, very good Christmas and a happy new year. God bless. Good and Cassius with Mitchell Smith for IFL TV. Thank you very much.